Okay, now in this section we are going to continue with with some uh, routers about the routers. So in this in this section we are going to see uh, about the internal components of the router. Okay, so in the previous section we have seen what are the different kinds of ports you will find on the routers, and in this section we will see what are the major components inside your router. Okay, so we are not going to do any hardware kind of thing on the Cisco routers. We are just trying to understand what are the different internal components what you'll find on the Cisco routers and what is the job of that particular internal components okay so if you just get into the inside the router probably you will find uh, different kinds of components here and in that the first component is your rom chip so rom stands for read only memory it's more similar to your bios chip on a computers and it's going to store a program called bootstrap program so more like your bios program which is going to uh, which is going to tell how the operating system has to be loaded or how the iOS has to be loaded. Now the operating system inside your Cisco iOS, we call it as Cisco iOS, Internet Work Operating System. So iOS stands for Internet Work Operating System and, and it comes by default when you purchase a router. So whenever you get any router, the router comes by default with an iOS. If you want, we can take the backup of that iOS. If you want, we can upgrade the iOS with the latest versions but it comes with with a default iOS by default and it is stored in a separate component called flash okay so typically we when when you see inside the router you'll find some ROM chip typically internal flash you can see this flash most of the new routers you can remove the flash by just pressing on one button over there and you'll find this internal flash where it is going to store your operating system okay so, and you have some RAM chip more similar to your normal RAM chips and also you have some BIOS, uh, actually that bootstrap program somewhere here. So one of the chip, you know, this is actually a ROM chip which is going to store your, um, store your uh, program, you call it as a bootstrap program and it's going to tell how it has to load the operating system, okay. So, now the major components here is ROM, we'll come to this booting process. The ROM is a chip which tells from where and how to load the iOS. That's one of the major job of the ROM. And the flash is a component which is going to store your operating system. And then we have something called non-volatile RAM. It's a small component called non-volatile RAM. And non-volatile RAM is like your permanent memory which is going to store all your configurations. Now configuration means whatever the changes you did. Let's say I change the name of the router. I change the IP addresses. I change some routing configurations or I change some NAT, ACL kind of configurations. Anything you make changes. And if you want to make that particular changes to be permanent, permanent means it should not go even if I reboot my device. In those kind of scenarios, we must we must save the configs and NVRAM is a component where it is going to store all your configurations permanently. And the other name we call for the NVRAM as startup configurations. So when I say startup configurations, because when, when, when we issue some commands in our next classes, we have a command called show startup config, but we don't have a command called show nvram. When I say show startup config means in the command line, I want to verify what are the configurations in your nvram. Similar way, we got one more component called ram. Ram stands for lead, random access memory. And it's also going to store your configurations. It's a, it's a main memory, we can say, just like a computer memory. It's going to store your configurations temporarily. And the other name, we call it as a running configurations. So we call that as running configurations. Okay. So we have a command called show running configurations. Whenever I say show running configuration means I want to see the configurations present in the RAM. And when I say show startup configurations, I want to verify the configurations present in the NVRAM. So just a basic overview on these components. Now the, let's try to understand the booting process or what happens whenever you power on the router. So the first time whenever you power on the router, the router performs a post power on self test, which is going to check all your hardware components more similar to your computers. And then it is going, it, it will go on the ROM chip on the motherboard. And it will ask the router from where uh, or ask the RAM chip or it, it will check the bootstrap program and it will see from where it has to load the operating system. Whether it has to load from the flash 
or it has to load from the TFTP that is your computer we can also load uh, iOS from any PC in the LAN that is from booting from the LAN some kind of something like that it's possible via TFTP server uh, more on this TFTP we'll be seeing more in detail when we discuss about the backup and restore options where we are going to learn how to take the backup on the Cisco routers and how to restore that it's completely done via TFTP server so we'll install one TFTP software and we'll, we'll do that so probably this is something what I will not be discussing at this point of time and in case if the router is not able to locate the locate the iOS in the flash and not in the TFTP then it will load with some mini operating system or the mini iOS from the ROM and from this uh, we can boot from the mini iOS and we can make some necessary steps to get back your iOS from the mini iOS so even I have a separate session dedicated for that in case if you lost your iOS from the flash how we can recover that by through the ROM mode or through the ROM uh, we'll be getting into that more in detail but always you need to load the iOS from the flash into the RAM so always the first step will be we are going to load the operating system or the iOS from the flash into the RAM and once the iOS is loaded the next step it is going to load your configurations from the NVRAM into the RAM which means whatever the configurations whatever the changes I did before I powered off my device all those configurations will be loaded from from my NVRAM into the RAM and then whatever you access everything is from the RAM and once you make any changes it will be inside your RAM and once I make those changes and once I save these configurations it will be sent back to the NVRAM and it will be saved permanently in the NVRAM unless you do unless you erase it manually okay so these are the uh, four main components we can say ROM ROM chip is is the one which is a uh, chip on the motherboard which tells uh, which which is having a program which is going to tell how to load the operating system and the default behavior is always the iOS is loaded from the flash and the flash is a component which is going to store your iOS and NVRAM and RAM both are going to have the configurations but the NVRAM configurations is more similar to your uh, hard disk kind of thing which is going to store your configurations permanently it's like a secondary memory where it is going to store all your configurations permanently and the RAM is more like a primary memory where it is going to store only your configurations temporarily okay 